Okay, so now we're going to begin on the podcast episode page. Uh, but before we do that, I want to add, I want to actually add some links so we can, uh, even though this is a static site, uh, we can navigate uh, to and from the various pages. So we're currently in the podcast show page. Let's go back to Sublime and uh, in the header, first off, let's uh, do the explore. That's going to go to the podcasts.html page. Um, the sign in will be sign dash in dot html create a podcast will be sign up dot html and then the uh, logo will go to the index dot html so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy from the logo to the bottom nav and then i'm going to go save that go to the podcast page and paste that in so that has the correct links and then i'll go to the index page and paste that in as well. Now we should be able to uh, click through to the various pages. Uh, sign in is not created, nor is sign up. Um, on the podcast page, well, actually on the uh, on the index page, let's add links to these two buttons. So let's go back to Sublime Index, and then uh, the create a podcast will go to sign up.html. So let's copy that and replace it. And Explorer will go to podcast.html. Save that. Refresh. Refresh and click explore. Awesome. So that's all working. Now for this, uh, the podcast page, let's, since it's just static, uh, let's add a link and uh, have every link go to the uh, podcast show page. So back in the podcast.html, uh, Let's do podcast underscore show dot html and we'll copy that and replace it for all of these. And what I'm doing here is I'm uh, holding command and clicking and we can cool thing about sublime is I can do command and click and then do multiple things at once. Nifty little trick. All right. So each of those go to the podcast show. And then in the podcast show page, let's uh, make each of these links go to the podcast episode page. So podcast show. And then even though it's not created yet, let's do I'm just going to do what I did before. I'm right or I'm holding a command as I click through these. And then I'm going to highlight that and change it to episode.html. So now if I refresh, I should be able to click that and it goes to episode.html. So let's uh, create that file. New, save this as episode.html. And then I'm just going to copy the podcast show page, paste it in, and refresh. Perfect. Let me bump up the size for you guys. Okay, so this is the episodes page. So let's uh, go to Photoshop and refer back to the uh, the design. I have the episode mockup open right here. So pretty much the only thing that changes between the uh, podcast show page and the episode page is one, uh, you get another layer of the breadcrumbs, and two, there would be um, this image, the title, subtitle, or title and description, and then the MP3 player. So let's go back to Sublime, and inside of here, what I'm gonna do is, above the episodes, I'm going to add a new div called uh, episode content. Whoops. I'm gonna say episode content. Hit tab. What we wanna do is also add a wrapper skinny div inside of here. Then I'm going to add an image. I'm just gonna copy this image down here. And on that image, I'm going to add a class of uh, episode thumbnail. Actually, we cannot do that because it's episode thumbnail right here. I'll say current episode thumbnail. That should be good. Then let's add the content as well. So I'm going to put an H2 tag um, and the reason I'm using H2 is because there's already an H1 up here. Uh, you only want to use one H1 per page. So the H2 
will be the title of the uh, podcast episode. So I'm going to just copy the title down here. It doesn't need to be linked because we're already on the page. And then I'll copy the description as well. Save that. Now let's go back and refresh. Perfect. Um, I'm going to change these images uh, just because I already have them in the images folder. So um, that will make it so it looks like a looks closer to a real design. So I will change this one to Brian Balfour.png. Then let's change the next one to in height. Let's just save that and make sure it's the right one. All right. And then let's change, let's just change the last one. And I will do um, Sam Safis. Perfect. So it's coming along. All right, let's style what the episode content looks like. So first off, let's go to Sublime Podcast Show. It's going to be an under there. Um, I'm going to do this under the episodes div. Um, I'm going to do episode, is it episodes or episode content? Episode content. Let's do a padding. Let's do a padding of uh, four rem zero. Go back and refresh. Okay, that looks good. Now let's do a um, margin bottom of four rem as well. And then uh, we want to do a border in between. So I'm going to copy that border from up here. All right now the border goes all the way across. Perfect. Okay, so let's style the image to be uh, smaller and centered uh, as a block. So I will do episode thumbnail or current episode thumbnail. Whoops. And let's do display block margin zero auto. Then we'll do a width of 10 rem and then a max width of 100% and a border radius of 0.35 rem. So let's see how that looks. That's perfect. Uh, let's add some spacing to the bottom. So on the margin, let's do margin zero auto, 1.5 rem auto. Uh, maybe bump it up a bit more. Let's try 2 rem. Okay. All right now, let's uh, grab the H2. Let's do a font size of 1.5 rem and then text align center as well. Refresh. Perfect. Now let's grab the uh, description. Dot description. Let's do a text align center. Uh, let's uh, make this a bit smaller, font size 0.9 rem. Uh, we'll add a line height to let it breathe a little bit of 1.7. Perfect. Uh, let's make sure the color is the same. So let's copy this and paste it down here. Refresh. Awesome. Now, uh, we would probably have a lot more content than this. So I'm going to go to hipsum.co and grab some filler text. Just going to grab a whole paragraph right here. Let's go back and replace this because this text, uh, this description gets uh, cut off with the dot 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 after X number of characters or that at least that's how we'll code it. And then uh, on the episode page uh, would be the full description. All right, this looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing left would be to add the MP3 player. Um, but for that, I'm actually going to wait until we build the Rails application uh, simply because uh, we are going to be using a uh, JS library called uh, jp-player. If you go to jpplayer.org, you can uh, look more into it. Uh, but this requires uh, jQuery, which we do not have um, on our static page, nor is it really worth the time to set up. So when it gets time in our Rails application, we will add the HTML and the styling for that.
Uh, but for now, let's uh, move on to the dashboard page. 